What is up everyone, Hazario here and welcome to another ADS Play channel update for the week of October 29th. We are crossing over, this is the last full week, well this is the last week, you know, finally getting into the Halloween of things, you know, free candy for every damn body, stay safe out there people. And uh, we're going to get this started, so I got a few things I want to talk about. First thing, I want to update you guys on the Five Nights of Halloween special, including um how I'm going to go about doing the, this uh, next one for the night. Uh, next, I'm going to talk about the current games and playthroughs that I'm doing, of course, and as well as an update on the two-week plan, quote-unquote, where I'm updating all my hardware via, you know, my new job, you know, making more money and things like that. So, so we actually got quite a few things to discuss, um, including one special uh, treat coming towards the end here um and i kind of hesitated because i'm kind of waiting until i get it copyrighted before i announce it to the world because i know people like to steal things matter of fact now that i said that i, I kind of i'm gonna just mention it and, and i'm not gonna show anything but it's gonna be something cool so i'm gonna just say that like i can't show anything just yet i'm, I'm gonna wait until i get the logo copyrighted and like the name copyrighted before I do anything because I know people like to steal and this is the internet people do do that but uh first let me talk about update you guys on a five nights of Halloween special because I don't want to be long with this um because I got live streams to do of course uh so first and foremost let me talk about this music uh this is the an adult swim bump hopefully I don't get in trouble for this you know adult swim they always made some good bumps back in the day like the early 2000s um I don't, I don't know why that stopped like they I don't know if it stopped or not. I don't really watch TV like that to to really know officially, but Adult Swim, they had some good bumps back in the day where, you know, in between, you know, the commercials and the and the actual show, they had these little songs that would play in between that were just really soulful and jazzy, and this is one of them. It's actually called, like, Jazzy uh, Nights, or like, Jazzy Sounds. Yeah, called Jazzy. But nevertheless, um... So let's get started. So first up, let me talk about the Five Nights of Halloween special. So I played Grim Fandango last night as the first of the Five Nights uh, of, of Halloween special. Um, so that one's already crossed off the list. Now, as you see the slide go through, you don't see the goosebumps, the game, uh, in there. That's because that had to be taken out. Unfortunately, you know, I could have sworn to myself that I bought goosebumps back when it was on sale for like five dollars and i was like no, actually i think it was cheaper than that when it was on sale i think it was like two dollars and you know i i thought i bought it with you know with games like crypto the necro dancer and, and and uh along with um with too dark like i thought i bought all three of those games at the same time but when i looked in my library to, to download it it was just like i couldn't you know find it i was like oh man i didn't buy it in time so that game kind of got thrown to the side but i'm gonna uh replace it with another game for, for the five nights of halloween special because i definitely want to uh play something pretty much like i want something to replace that um but it, it has to be something big like it has to be something interesting um and entertaining so the remaining games that we have on the five uh, as far as what's known right now the next game i'm going to be playing is too dark which is a game about a guy who's in i don't know if he's in like a building or if he's in like some type of children's home and there's like some serial killer on the loose i don't know if he's killing all the children or whatever but you know with grim fandango being kind of like a comedy uh game slash platformer slash type of you know things like that uh, I figured, you know, let's get into like the horrific stuff. Let, let's get into the, the suspenseful and the creepy stuff now. And I, I think that a game such as uh, a game such as Too Dark, the way that I've seen, you know, like the screenshots and the little snippets here and there of video, it's definitely going to be that. So, of course, now none of these games are going to be beaten of course that's ne never the case you know these are just like marathons and me playing the game having fun for the sake of the, of the five nights of halloween special that's what this is that's what this is so 
is just to have fun with the games. Maybe later on when there's downtime next year, I will go back and I will complete these games because I think they're honestly too good to just uh, not finish. But for right now, it's just having fun with the game and trying to get as far as I can in one go. Um, you know, for the sake of uh, the Five Nights of Halloween special. It would be cool if I beat them, but if not, then that's fine. So, now that that's out the way, let's talk about the current playthroughs, because we need to get to this. Um, so, guys, you guys know the same ones are on the table. Blue Reflection. Uh, uh, South Park, The Fractured But Whole. Um, what else I have? And The Evil Within 2. I got to jump back in that game as well. It's, you know, five... It's a four games that, you know, well, three that I'm trying to complete and I think I'm almost done with Shadow of War so I'm going to try to focus on completing that one or at least The Evil Within 2 and I don't want to just leave Blue Reflection hanging to by the wayside because I was actually enjoying that so I'm going to try to figure out you know which game I'm going to go with next because I'm trying to c complete these and uh, have them sit back because you know Wolfenstein 2 Assassin's Creed Origins and I, I think it was another game that came out if not they have some other games coming out this week so i have a few games that i'm going to be purchasing uh come towards the end of this week and um like we're going to be adding some new games to the current playthrough uh agenda so if you feel like i haven't you know touched on the games that you feel like i should have no no problem trust me i'm getting them at the end of the week we're gonna get this solved so last but not least to update you guys on the on the agenda that which I'm going to refer to it as now where I'm you know basically updating my laptop updating my game systems getting new game systems you know to get back to where I want to be um, with the hardware because right now it's not in a good space and it's time you know it's managing but it's time to upgrade so I've been looking around and of course you guys know I've been to, to Best Buy uh, this is like a screenshot from the website currently like I just took this before I started the video and you see you know they have um, you know basically my uh, aim was to get a a gaming laptop that was 17.3 uh, inches that had that big of a screen and because that's as big as the one I have right now and it's just big enough for me to see everything it's wide enough you know and I'm not very picky with it because right now I just want the hardware to be to where it can run everything I need it to run and not crash on me uh, so that's basically it um, and right now it seems like my budget is going to be uh, kind of tighter than what I thought it was going to be um, but the deadline for getting all this stuff is before January 1st, 2018. So it's not like I'm in that much of a rush. I want to get it as soon as possible, but it's not going to hurt me um, or anything like that. Because I set the deadline to be basically January 1st, 2018 for me to have all these hardware upgrades. So right now, that's kind of what I'm looking at. And I was looking at the HP Omen, and this is a, a laptop that I've been looking at for quite some time ever since i've been to the best buy over here in my uh at my local best buy over here um they have a 15.6 inch laptop display uh for 949 dollars that's not bad that's actually well within my range but the one i'm looking for it, 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 I, I would like to get a 17.3 inch display uh laptop that's kind of what i'm aiming for because i know that's going to be you know I played League of Legends in other PC games. Well, but the primary reason is to, is to get the programs I need to run. But every time I'm not doing anything else, it's like I play League of Legends and I actually play with, with a touchpad. You know, for those of you who see my League of Legends videos and other gameplay videos like that, I, I, I play with a touchpad. And I've gotten so used to it that playing with a mouse on League of Legends is kind of like, eh, it feels weird. You know, I, I kind of compare it to somebody using an arcade stick with uh when playing fighting games and then all of a sudden like they use like 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 the regular console controller like it just feels weird you know and 
your, your muscle memory is so geared towards, you know, just playing a game in the way that you're used to that when you use the more standard method, I guess you'll say, it, it just kind of just throws you off. So at this point, using a mouse for League of Legends it just isn't the, the business. But the primary reason I need it is to run, you know, my programs like, um, um, uh, programs like XSplit and OBS Studio. I'm trying to run those programs, and uh, this laptop just can't handle them because the, the computer usage gets used up so much because the hardware can't handle the way that this program runs. And they have an updated version, but of course I need Windows 10, and I can update this system to Windows 10, but other things won't work anymore. So I can't really uh, use it for what I need to. But regardless of that, um, I'm looking at, I'm, I'm trying to weigh some things out. And as far as the laptop goes, I, I should be able to get that at the beginning of November, at the beginning of um, December, around the end of November, that time. So that's basically what I'm looking forward to. Um, I, I wouldn't mind a 15.6 inch laptop. It's just that I'm aiming for a 17.3 inch laptop because I know that the 15.6 it's it, it's going to be too small for me. Like I'm a big dude. Like I need a laptop that's you know as big as I can get it. So it makes things a little bit easier for me to move around and you know type and things like that. Because I like imagine the Hulk being a, you know you know what I mean like kind of crunched up like you guys can't see me because I don't have like a, a webcam or anything but you guys can just imagine like the incredible hope you know crunched in trying to squeeze his body together just so he can you know type on like a, a tiny laptop that's the way I'm gonna feel on a 15.6 inch laptop you know it's just gonna be way too small for me but as long as it's powerful enough to run the programs I need to run then I, that that'll be fine I don't need to have uh, a 17.3 inch screen for that but it's gonna be one hell of a method for me to play any type of game on there if i want to but the primary reason is to have like the video editing programs and you know obs studio obs uh, studios as well as xsplit or any other program like that um that i can run uh live streams through and have all the nice little trinkets and like links and everything there to have a program to have a laptop that can handle those programs um i'm all for it so i'm not going to be too picky um actually i found this hp omen 15.6 inch laptop i found this at my local walmart and what's funny is that i was looking online uh, for the same deal that I seen in store, but I guess it's only like an in store deal because the laptop in there for, for, it, it was an HP Omen, but it was for like six hundred. It was for like uh, seven hundred forty-seven dollars or like seven hundred eighty-seven dollars or something like that. And I was looking at it and I was like, man, that's like I, I could have got that right then and there. But my focus is was on, oh man, like my focus was more so on like just trying out the ps4 pro which i did you know I, I didn't upload that unboxing video for it because i didn't really keep this i didn't keep the that ps4 pro i, I ended up sending it back because i found out that the ps4 slim does everything that i needed to do as far as me having lag free game playing being, being able to connect to five gigahertz internet and things like that so i was figuring like why well, spend four hundred dollars when i could spend like a hundred dollars less and plus i plan on getting like an, a, a, a nintendo switch uh, so I can play like games like Mario Odyssey and like the latest Zelda game and things like that. So I'm gonna need room <laughs> on my little uh, nightstand here to keep all the games. So I think that the PS Slim, the PS4 Slim, is the way to go for me. Um, other than that, you know that's fine. So so yeah. Last but not uh, did I already talk about the Slim? My dumb self was talking about the Slim and I did not. There you go. <laughs> I was like I said I was looking for um, speaking of PS4 Slim, um, yeah, 
I kind of talked about it and got away we're not even bringing a picture up I suck but uh but yeah man that is that's everything so again thank you guys for watching uh peace and I will see you guys uh later on this week for gameplays of Assassin's Creed Origins and Wolfenstein 2 I didn't forget about them don't worry it's just that I'm trying to knock these other playthroughs out before I even get started on those because I'm not trying to have a bunch of playthroughs just piled up on top of each other so that's it man thank you guys for watching again hope I don't get in trouble for the music but you know if it does I'm just gonna have to edit the music out but um but yeah just hope you guys enjoy it so thank you guys for watching peace Again, have a safe Halloween. Go get some free candy. And uh, yeah, enjoy yourself. Peace.